at what angle do the two curves y equals three and a half x squared plus two and y equals x squared minus five x plus nine point five cut one another we're looking for an angle we've got two curves two parabolas because it's something of the order of something x squared and it's they're going to be positive they're going to be happy parabolas because these are both positive so it looks something like this uh this one is going to let's you know, let's just kind of hit it like this here okay so there actually looks like they're going to meet at two points but we're going to focus on one we're going to focus on this point right here which we don't even know what it is yet so let's figure that out first. So we've got 3.5 x squared plus 2 equals x squared minus 5x plus 9.5. Okay, so let's uh, let's lose the 2 from each side here. So that is going to become 7.5. And then let's lose x squared from both sides. So that's going to become 2.5 x squared uh, and then let's haul everything over to the left so we've got two and a half x squared plus 5x uh, minus seven i'll write it as seven and a half okay and then now let's and that all equals zero so let's find out the x's that will make this zero let's first let's get rid of these and a halves uh so we'll double everything. So we've got 5x squared plus 10x minus 15 equals 0. And then we're going to divide everything by 5. x squared plus 2x, this isn't as mean as it started out looking, equals 0. So now we can factor that easily enough, I hope. Um, x plus... 3x minus 1. So we've got an x equals negative 3 and an x equals 1. Let's bring these values back to our original equations. We'll scroll up. So we've got y equals, we'll do x equals 1 first. x equals 1. y equals uh, 3 and a half times 1 squared plus 2. So that equals 3 and a half plus 2. So that's going to be 5 and a half. So we've got this point, um, 1 comma 5 and a half. Okay. And then we have got, and we could have just as easily have plugged that into this second equation here. We should get the same thing. That would be a way to check this. Now for x equals negative 3, got y equals, in fact, this one, this second equation is just going to be so much easier to use. So let's do negative 3 squared minus 5 times negative 3 plus 9 and a half. And that equals, that's 9 plus 15 plus 9 and a half. So that's going to be 24 plus 10 is 34, but then subtract a half because we overdid it, uh, 33 and a half. So that is going to be negative 3 comma 33 and a half. So those are two points where these two parabolas are going to hit each other. So let's clear the screen and look at just that information now that we have. One comma five and a half. And then over here, someplace off the screen, we've got negative three comma 33 and a half. What we want to know this angle like right here right where right where these hit uh, so we're going to work out the tangent lines 
Uh, so let's work out this one first. Uh, d by dx of three and a half x squared plus two equals seven x. And now let's do this one here. d by dx of x squared minus five x plus nine and a half equals two x minus five. Okay, and what is the tangent of this one? Well, that's going to be seven times one equals seven. That is the slope of this line. Notice how we don't, we haven't even figured out what the line is. We, we're not gonna actually end up caring. Uh, the slope of this line is seven. What is the slope of what is the slope of the second line? It's um, plug in the one and you end up with two times one minus five equals negative. So that's two minus five is negative three. Okay, so that's one slope and this is t'other slope. Okay, so this must be the seven slope and this must be the negative three slope. Okay, so let's now translate that into a question of angle. This point of intersection is down here. We go over one and we scoot up seven. So here's our line. That's one, that's seven. So this angle here is the arc tangent of seven. And then we take this point, we scoot over one and up only three this time. So that's one, that's three, but in the other direction, that's why it's negative three. This angle here is the arc tangent of three. But we're interested in the angle in between them two. So the whole thing is 180 degrees or pi or whatever you want to call it. We'll do degrees. So 180 degrees minus these two angles summed together. And you can plug that in to Decimus or whatever, you'll get about 26 degrees-ish. Now you're just doing a calculator. This really, this is your final solution. Uh, if you like radians, you can put pi in there. What about this one up here? This point that's off screen. There are the tangents are both, they're both gonna be negative. So you're gonna wanna modify your approach slightly for that one. I'll leave that one for you. Put your results in the comments uh, and then move on to some more uh, stuff. Bob is your uncle. Cheers.